The MicroSemi Smart Fusion 2 Maker Board by DigiKey is a platform for the development of Internet of Things applications development. This board features a fully functional ARM Cortex M3 system on a chip. The MicroSemi Smart Fusion 2, inter interfaced with Ethernet and two expressive wireless enabled microcontrollers, the ESP32 and the ESP8266. Additionally, this board features output LEDs, input buttons, and environmental sensors. In this video, we will be showing you how to program the onboard expressive microcontrollers and use a demonstration application developed by Calplug. The Micro Semi Smart Fusion 2 Maker Board by DigiKey does not come with the ESP8266 or the ESP32 installed. We are assuming both are installed prior to use in this instruction guide. In this first step, we will be showing you how to program the Micro Semi Smart Fusion 2 to act as a programmer to allow you to program the ESP32 and the ESP8266 using the Arduino interface. As the Maker Board arrives without programming, two updates need to be done to allow this. First, the onboard FTDI USB to UART interface needs to be set up. Instructions for this are provided in the project's GitHub page. Once the FTDI USB to UART interface is updated, next you must program your Smart Fusion 2 FPGA to allow programming. This is done using MicroSemi's Flash Pro or MicroSemi's Libero SOC 11.8 or later. The following project provides the firmware for the programmer. The first step is to download the project from the GitHub page. Place it on your system in a folder path with no spaces. Have the Digi Keyboard projects in Libero SOC 11.8. Once you have it open, click Place and Route. Make sure you also have the required files in order to complete the process, such as the main C shown right here. Open Soft Console and then click on Build Release. Then on Run Configurations. Then on Run. After everything is okay, terminate the run. Then open the lib libero then click on update ENVM memory content. Afterwards, click on data storage, then on browse, and then open digikeyboardprog.hex in the project, then click OK. Click on Run Program Action and then OK. In this step, we'll be demonstrating how to load a sample program onto the onboard ESP32 module using the Arduino IDE. Be sure the ESP32 core for the Arduino IDE is loaded prior to performing these steps. Make sure the ESP8266 is not connected and make sure the board is connected to the Arduino IDE. Afterwards, insert jumpers J11 and J10 to the respective location on the board. Go to Arduino and then go to Tools and make sure port is set to the lowest COM and board is set to Fire Beetle ESP32. Click on the arrow on the top left in order to compile and upload your microcontroller code. Once that is done, press button 1 and wait 1 to 2 seconds to reset the microcontroller. In this step, we will be demonstrating how to load a sample program onto the onboard ESP8266 module using the Arduino IDE. Be sure the ESP8266 core is loaded for the Arduino IDE prior to performing these steps. Specifically, we are uploading the firmware used for the demo application in this step to the ESP8266. 
If you have not done so already, connect your DigiKey Maker Board via USB and launch the Arduino IDE. Remove jumpers J10 and J11 in order to isolate ESP32. Then insert ESP8266 into module 1. Press the second button and wait 1 to 2 seconds. In Arduino, port should be set to COM16 and board should be set to generic ESP8266. Click on the arrow in the top left in order to run the code. Press button 1 and wait 1 to 2 seconds. Make sure that the DigiKeyboard.projects is in your files along with other required content. Then open up Libero SOC 11.8 and then click on Place and Route. Make sure you have all the required files. Afterwards, open up Soft Console. Then click on Build Release. Then on Run Configurations. And after you make sure DLogger and Startup have the right settings, click on Run. Then terminate the run. Open Libero once again, then click on Update ENVM Memory Content. Click on Data Storage, then on Browse, and open digikeyboardprog.hex. Then click OK. Afterwards, click on Run Program Action then OK. Now that the firmware is loaded, the demonstration can be run upon board reset. The demonstration project uses an ESP8266 as a web server to, pro to provide connectivity between the maker board and a browser over Wi-Fi. Once the DigiKey Maker Board is connected to Wi-Fi, begin the demonstration by going to the IP address 192.168.4.1. This web page is served from the ESP8266 module and uses auto refresh to provide updating. Clicking the buttons on the web page on the browser interface will, will provide control of the onboard LEDs on the Maker Board. Pressing the buttons on the Maker Board will cause a message to be displayed in the browser. This is an example of bidirectional communication. The Micro Semi Smart Fusion 2 Maker Board by DigiKey is a solid platform to develop connected FPGA applications. Please also explore the official site for this device shown here.